The Itaokei community want the new constitution to secure and protect their right to land ownership. This was one of the contributions made to the Constitutional Commission as it held talks in Raiwai Suva today. Others have asked them to look at ways to end the coup culture. One of the most crucial recommendations this morning has been to bring back the Great Council of Chiefs in order to maintain stability. Others want reassurance that their land won't be taken away and that the Itoke will have equal opportunities. Some say freehold land should also be transferred to the indigenous people. Professor Guy says even young adults have shown a keen insight into how the society works. One person said that Fiji, Fiji people are like a bunch of bananas. Why to get in less than a week, the Commission is already seeing a trend in what Fijians want in the new constitution. And the youth particularly uh, tell me that uh, they, they have a lot of friends from other communities and, uh, and they are not conscious of any differences, they work together. So that, that, that I think is a, a positive development. Prominent figures made submissions to the commission, including members of the SDL party and former military officer Sakiu Sarevode. The commission meets at Parliament House tomorrow. Wasita Kotiwasawasa, FBC News. Fiji has voiced strong concern over its exclusion from the past Asia-Caribbean Pacific trade meetings. This issue was highlighted by Permanent Secretary for Trade Shaheen Ali as he opened the Pacific ACP trade meeting in Nandi today. Christopher Chand with the details. Fiji's been out of the loop ACP talks since being kicked out of the Pacific Islands Forum. We've only recently been allowed back into some of the meetings. But today, questions are being asked if the ACP is independent or being influenced by other parties. Our region has not been able to achieve the level of economic integration and success as a direct consequence of the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat perhaps influenced by non-Pacific ACP states, wrongfully excluding Fiji. We weren't involved in the Pacific ACP leaders meeting in New Zealand last year, with the Forum Secretariat looking after the affairs. We should not allow third parties or organizations such as the Forum Secretariat to question the sovereign and historical relations. Nor should we allow them to divide a wedge between us the Forum Secretariat has been criticized in the past for its role, a conflict of interest, and how it handles the Economic Partnership Agreement, or the EPA. Equal and full participation by all members of the Pacific ACP is crucial for the success of the region's integration, its economic development, and its well-being. There has been slow progress in priority areas like fisheries, something the ACP needs to take care of before meeting with the European Union in October. Christopher Chand, FBC News. Kerosene lamps and diesel generators will soon be a thing of the past for people in Riketi. Work has started on connecting the area to the FAA power grid. As Devna Ryan reports, $14 million will be spent in bringing electricity from Sanganga to parts of Nasarawanga in Bua. Contractors are already erecting FEA poles, which will bring electricity to Driketi. 33,000 volts of energy will be channeled from the Waira in Lambasa to this remote area, 80 kilometers away. What they're doing now is uh, putting up all the power poles and uh, getting the power lines across, building off it as uh, formers at uh, Wailewu and Nanihunda in Senganga, then one again, another transformer in uh, Driketi. The project is likely to be commissioned in June next year, energizing thousands of homes. It will be good for children that are schooling here and uh, people can be more educated like seeing the TV. So plenty of things will come so good we'll, uh, about our students and our school in Andriket is so happy. We will be able to watch TV and also play radio, and it will also be good for the students while studying. Running a generator costs us lots of money. FEA power supply is going to reduce the amount of money that is spent on buying fuel for generators 
and at the same time I will be able to put more items in the freezer. The government is paying just over seven million dollars, half the cost of construction. Once this phase is complete, the FE has confirmed the grid will be extended to even further reaches of Vanuatu. Devnarain, FBC News.